The last and one of the most important steps in making buckskin is to smoke your hide. This gives it that distinctive buckskin color from the smoke stains. It also gives it a certain smell which when they're being used in the woods, which is where these are meant to be used, it'll help keep insects away and it'll also disguise your body scent. Nobody's totally sure what's in the smoke that gives buckskin at certain attributes, but the theory is that the oils and the smoke coat the, the uh, fiber within the leather. If you take a piece of hide that you finished working out that's white, that hasn't been smoked yet, and you dip it in water, it'll dry hard and stiff. Once it's been smoked though, you can dip it in water and it'll dry relatively soft. If it doesn't dry completely soft, you can wear it until it's dry or work it between your hands or even run it over a tree branch and it'll dry soft. It's one of the unique attributes to brain tan buckskin is that it'll dry soft after it's been smoked. Once you're finished tanning your hide, it's time to sew up the bullet holes and sew it into a tube so that you can smoke it, including sewing a uh, skirt on the end of it. After you're done working it out, there's usually a little bit of stiff material along the edge. I would go ahead and trim that off with the bullet holes, and they all have bullet holes in them unless they died of a heart attack. Trim around the edge of the hole. Some people sew it up before they work it out. I like sewing them up after. It's just habit. I guess that it can work either way. I've tried it both ways. But cut a little bit of a patch, a little bit larger than the hole once you've trimmed it put it onto the flesh side and then whip stitch the thing up and that should hold it fine. I usually go around two, maybe three times to make sure that it holds on well here. There's another patch from just a little spot that popped out. So go ahead and sew those holes up. Then I fold them in half and try to get them to line up roughly along the edges. Some people like to glue them. Some people staple them. There's all kinds of different tricks. I found that the best way to hold it is to put in, use a fairly heavy thread and just do a running stitch along the edge. It's easy to tear out. It's easy to trim holes in it so that the smoke will circulate through it better. Let's go ahead and sew it. Make sure that you leave one end open where you're going to sew your skirt and then you have a sharp needle. You may need a pair of pliers. But just a simple running stitch. Simple running stitch will hold it together for your purposes of smoking it. Now that the hide is sewn into a tube, leave a little bit of an opening on one end. And I punch a hole in it. And run a little piece of twine through there to make a loop and hold it up when uh, it's being smoked. I hang them from the top of my garage. You can hang them from a tree. But make that little loop. To hold it up. One end is open. And the skirt will go on that. This is just a piece of the heaviest canvas I could get. It's sewn into a tube. And we'll just sew around the edge there.
Depending on the size of the hide, there will be a little bit of extra cloth left in your skirt. Just fold that over a little bit. And go ahead and sew that up too. For smoking hides, <coughs> I bought a little stove 